Founded in 1920, the NFL has grown to become America's most popular sports league. In fact, the NFL is the most profitable sports league in the country, earning in excess of $10 billion a year. Last year's Super Bowl was the most watched program in history with 114 million viewers tuning in. However, the NFL has not made the journey to the top of the sports world unscathed. In recent years, the NFL has been under fire for its players' lengthy arrest records, including high-profile cases involving domestic violence and first-degree murder. The NFL also has a black eye for its treatment of former players and their mental health issues resulting from multiple concussions sustained throughout their playing careers. To make matters worse, a few former NFL players have even committed suicide as a result of their mental health troubles. Despite all this, the NFL has produced some of entertainment's biggest stars like J.J. Watt. Generally, the NFL's biggest and brightest stars are their quarterbacks. Rising star Cam Newton, five-time NFL champion Tom Brady, and most recently, 2014's NFL MVP Aaron Rodgers. You gotta tweak him. You don't have to rebuild him. Uh, and you tweak him to get him where, where he needs to be. And uh, what we wanted to, to work on uh, with my throwing motion was really get the loop out of it, make it as quick as possible. Not to really change anything from my release and my follow through, but just get it to the point where it's leaving my hand quicker. What you're trying to do is, is get his arm or, or get muscle memory at 90 degrees. When a quarterback throws the ball, you know, that's your, that's your launch point right there. You want it at 90 degrees. So really what you're doing is you're, is you're simulating the 90 degrees and throwing from there. You know, it's going to take you 2,000, 3,000 times doing something before you really start to ingrain it into your muscles. When someone watches me do something, they say, that's how it's supposed to be done, and that's how we have to teach it, just like that. Um, because if you do something uh, to the level of success like that, then that's going to carry over into every aspect of your life. If you constantly try to, uh, you know, to, to reach perfection at everything, you're not going to reach it, but you're going to get close. And that means you're, you're going to get close to excellence, and that's what we're always striving for. The biggest challenge is saying, hey, slow down, we're not going to get there tomorrow. You've got to baby step your way through this. And I think you see what's starting to happen is that a bunch of baby steps through a bunch of workouts have now, you know, grown into, you know, a new kid, really, you know, throwing the ball with his motion. And at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself, did I get better today? Was I the hardest working player in the country today? Did someone else outwork me today? And for all those questions, you know, I can say that I was the hardest worker today because I truly believe that. And I truly believe no one outworked me today. And yes, I did get better. There are only 32 starting quarterbacks each week in the NFL. These few have achieved the pinnacle of their careers through endless workouts and physical fitness, as well as focused mental training. The next generation of quarterbacks will need to adopt new training routines to stay ahead of their competition. In addition to requiring great physical fitness, quarterbacks also need to mentally prepare for a variety of defensive play calls and know how to react quickly to what is presented to them. Quarterbacks are using new technology which allows them to train to make faster and smarter decisions. By allowing the quarterback to see the entire field of view, including both offensive and defensive play calls, they are able to scenario play to determine what the best strategy is to gain yardage and march down the field. Between this virtual reality technology and past attempts is that Belch's software uses real video instead of animation. They can simulate what the defense is going to be doing so their quarterbacks actually put on this face mask and go through their different protections. So how many hours am I going to have to use this thing before I'm a starting quarterback? Well, is that 12? so for someone like you or a fan, once we kind of teach you what you're looking at and you can memorize and learn to, learn to react quicker, just go do it on the field. So All why right, don't we check so this let's out? Try it. Okay. Yep. So I just put this on and put I become a quarterback. Yep. You know, football wise, you are hearing exactly what's going on on the field. So on this particular play, he's changing the play call. You hear that. You, you, you go through the mental mechanics. All right, I would do this. The protection slides. You come over and boom, we move on. This is unbelievable. <laughs> That's the reaction we like. You know, it's like watching your first 3D movie. When you put this, this headset on, you are in it. You're in the play. You are experiencing it. Now turn around, look behind you. There's your running backs. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's really cool. 
And man, what a great resource to have. I would assume that that's going to be pretty much everywhere in the years to come. It's got a chance to be phenomenal as far as the amount of things that we can get student athletes to experience um, without actually technically being there. So we have incoming freshmen. They can almost feel experienced after a summer. We walk into training camp, they've already run these plays over and over again. They can make quicker decisions. Um, so going forward, this thing is, has a chance to be really exciting. I'll tell you this, uh, in 2015, no one in the Pac-12 is going to have this other than Stanford, and that, that's a big deal. If this kind of becomes the de facto way to train in the NFL and college and high school, and it started here, how cool is that? The benefits that come from virtual reality training will not only serve quarterbacks and their teams, but can also improve a team's bottom line. A quarterback's improved decision-making can contribute to more wins on the field. More wins on the field generates greater interest in the team, which sells more tickets and fills stadiums. Filled stadiums allow owners to charge higher prices for their tickets, which generates more revenue for owners, which they can keep for themselves reinvest in the team through acquiring better players, or improve the team's capital resources. The main goal of every team is to win a Super Bowl. Virtual reality training will help teams in their pursuit of that goal and do even more along the way. Let's go have some fun tonight. Win on three. One, two, three, win. X82 Tickle. H Disco. 19. Yo yo. Deep yo yo. Deep yo yo. Now firm up a little bit, boy. Right, we're going to use the cadence now, right? we got to use the cadence versus that blitz. Yeah. Apple, Apple. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Japan. Richmond, New York. Richmond, Florida. Sally, Buffalo. Check, check. Hey, short ox. Luda Raiders. How about? I might audible. If I audible, I'll use. I'll use brown, right? Brown, right, orange, purple, black, red, 96, 18, 30. <laughs> Keep it going, boys. Keep it going. Hunt, 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 54! 54! Easy, easy! Score! Score! Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Boom! 